Hey, young people. This is a robbery of a uh, Little Caesars pizza in uh, Alabama. So, <clears throat> this is a common ploy of crooks. They pull out a large bill in order to see if you can break it, to see how much money you have in a register or to get you to open a register. That's why a lot of businesses say we don't take large bills. Um, another reason for this is they usually have to get the manager, and the manager robbers know that the managers have the key and can open the registers and get to the money or the safe, etc. So if you want to identify the manager, that's what they do. So this guy is using, to me, in this tool... He wants to identify the manager who can open it, and he's trying to get large bills and act like he has money. Therefore, he gets people to drop their guard. This guy has money. He's not going to rob us. Um, so he gets the manager. Uh, the manager, I don't understand why the manager takes this pizza i keep trying to figure out why he takes the pizza and moves it i it, it, it has to be something that he's aware of this crime or he's suspicious why would you take a guy's pizza if you're just gonna charge him or give him change uh i, I i'm a little confused on how that's going on there maybe somebody can clear it up in the comments Notice the target glance to see if there's any other people. If this guy is smart and he's watching, he would know that this guy is nervous or looking. Uh, I don't know if he can see the bulge of the gun or not, but he could have seen the bulge of the gun before he opened it. Maybe he just wanted to open it and give him the money and get him out of there. I don't know. And there's the gun. So as soon as the gun... The other employee backs up. The cop, the the manager's like, "Hey, dude, what do you want?" I, my guess is this guy's been through this before. Rick, why do you say that? Just because you're just being racist? Well, you know what? I'm just telling you. This guy looks like he's been through this before. He's in an area that probably where he gets robbed a lot. He he went through this very smooth and by the numbers. This does not look like his first robbery. It doesn't look like his first robbery. Pulling the hat down, he's trying to conceal his face. Somebody walks in. When this guy hides the gun, when this guy walks in, to me, that's an indicator that this guy doesn't really want to take over, and he's not. I mean, most crooks, if they have a gun, they're going to rob this guy and this idiot on the phone that doesn't look up. They're going to take his phone and take his wallet, too. Because this guy doesn't have a freaking clue over here. Rick, why are you picking on the white guy? You're being... Shut up, you big dummies, and watch the video. So he puts the gun away, and there's no threat. This guy defense, when he goes to court... And I know people are going to think it's crazy. The defense attorney is going to argue that... He put the gun away, and when he took this money, it was not by force or threat because he removed the gun. This guy just gave him the gun voluntary because he saw the gun and he was scared before, but he did not use the gun to get the money. That's what they will argue in court. They're going to say, how was this guy a threat? And Mr. Manager, this is the defense talking, you said you were scared, and that's why you gave him the money. Why were you scared? He didn't even have a gun in his hand. He had put the gun away. Why did you continue to give him the money? They're going to try, because that's what liberals and defense attorneys do, is they always make the victim the bad guy, and they protect the real bad guy. So he shows them there's no money underneath. This guy knows that they usually put hundreds and large bills underneath. He probably asked him, pull the drawer out, let me see, is there any more money in there? The guy does it, he's still not finished. He makes him go over to the other register and do the same thing. Meanwhile, uh, you know, Joe Smuckatelli back here is on his phone, you know, texting somebody about freaking Star Wars and doesn't have a clue to places being robbed. 
And this guy's a little inexperienced because he gets the money and he leaves his pizza. Dude, why didn't you take your pizza? It's already made. They're just going to throw it away. Take your damn pizza if you're taking all the money. Gives him all the money. This manager's just going through the motion. No problem. Let me give you the money. I don't want any problems. Here's the cash. Have a nice day. And he leaves his pizza. Why did he leave his pizza? I don't know. Because he wasn't paying attention. Meanwhile, Smuckatelli is coming up to order his pizza. He'll probably get this one. Hey, we got a special on this one. The robber left it after he took all the cash. There are probably just a few mushrooms missing. You want this one? All right, we'll end that there on situational awareness. This guy did pretty good. Hey, no reason to be a hero. Guy showed a gun. Give him the money. This just job isn't worth getting shot. Let the guy get out of there. This is probably ideal. The company's going to be like, hey, you did a good job. Government's going to be like, you were a good victim. Uh, it wasn't the guns. It wasn't the guy's fault. It was the gun's fault. If we only took more guns from good people, then this bad guy wouldn't be doing his evil stuff. And that's the liberal agenda they'll try to push, uh, you know, on try to make this into it's a gun issue instead of a cultural uh, raising your child, no standards in the community. Uh, you know, that that's not the issue. No, 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 because liberals can't argue that because they destroy communities and make it that way. They're going to argue that it was the gun's fault that this robbery happened or the pizza's fault that it happened because it was a bad pizza. All right, we'll end that there.